the spirit well. Huh? I oh, yeah, continue. The spirit well. Well. That is the well from the spirit. The well from the spirit. That the spirit well. Let me sit down. The well from where? Spirit. That is the well Jesus has given to us. When God gives you His well, He has given you everything. I say that your well will not fall on the ground. That means it is done. Whatever you say here on earth, he said in heaven, nobody can fight. Hmm. God's way. There were spirits uh, come to our life, become reality. They speak God's way, it will happen. So let's go to first somewhere. First somewhere. First somewhere three. If you read it, you will not see where God called somewhere and how Eli helped him. But it's not only the way. I want to pick something there. Let's read from 18 to 21. Huh? But if you read from verse 1, you come, you now see where God was trying to communicate with who? Somewhere. How God communicated with him and the help a lie offered to him so that he will hear from God. Uh huh. Then Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And he said, it is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. So Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him. And let none of his words fall to the ground. You see where I'm going? Huh? The Spirit of God, the Word of God, did what? Well. Huh? Was with him. The Word of God was with him. And none of his were fall on the ground. This is where I'm going. Hmm? You know, the question that you ask yourself whether the word of God is it with you? Ask your neighbor, word of God is it with you? Huh? Or you're 20 and 21. And all Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel had been established as a prophet of the Lord. Then the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. For the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. You see, people will know that God has established you to be a prophet when you are where stand. It will not fall on the ground. Because the, the Jews, they believe that if you speak and you are where did not come to pass, God, God has not sent you. But if you speak and you are where stand, they now know that God has sent you. Hmm. The word of God. If the word of God is given to you now, God now say, whatever you say on earth, he say in heaven. That means, ah, that shows that your will will not do what? Fall on the ground. That means God has established you as a prophet. Hmm. So you can now speak for him. 
Mm, now say, this is my way. This is what will happen. You now say, God say, this thing will happen. And the thing will do what will happen. And the word of God does not know your enemy. If God give me a way to give you that you will manufacture this television and uh, it will boom, you will be great with this television. And finally, you don't love us again and now leave the church. This way will still come to pass. Because God's way is what? It's a lie. So it does not care whether the person is your enemy or your friend. Mm. God say to you, look at what you will do. You will succeed. Ah. The way will not fall on the ground unless you are the one that stopped the way. You know, you can choose to stop God's way. Uh, you can choose to stop God's way. God say, uh, this way will come. But look at what you will do. The way with condition. The way which you need to help God's way. Uh, you refuse to do those things. It will work. But the way that they say, this is what will happen without any condition, without anything. Ah, whether you stay here, whether you live here, that way will come to pass. Because if that way did not come to pass, that means God has not spoken. But if the way now come to pass and you are no longer here, you will still remember that it's that man that said this. <laughs> Am I right? It's that man that you, don't, you no longer believe that said this and his way stand. That shows that that way is a spirit way. If God give you his way, he have given you. If God give you his way, he have given you. I know many people that have left here that I spoke to. That way is still with them today. That's the way. It's the way. Because it's what? God's way is a spirit way. It's not mine. That's, that is what God was teaching me this morning. He um, teach me to the extent that he made me look come late. Um, about his way. Uh, to stand in us. If you see God and he now give you his way, ah, you are made. If the way is given to you, whether you decided to leave God, that way will still be with you. Uh, still be with you. That is why if God establishes his way in you, he will warn you not to curse people, whether they are your enemy or your friends. Never you curse them. If you curse them, you are no longer building, but you are destroying. Because the way is given to you. The reason why you are here today is because of the ways of Satan in you. You are looking for a place where they will remove that way. And they will say good word to you. That is why you are here. It's bad, bad word that bring you here today. If not, they say bad thing on your head. You will not come here. You will be in the world doing well. But because the bad word is said to your life, that is why you are here. So that God will do what? Will remove it. In your family, they say that nobody progress. That is why I titled it the spirit way. Because Satan where to walk. Satan where to stand. It's Satan where that destroy people. That make people poor. Make people bury. Make people deal. Make people die. 
Because Satan says something, or he used somebody to say something on your head. And the thing is happening to you. Some people in their family, they have convalor that they say, give us children, but don't give us money. And they are giving birth anyhow till today. And this way, more than 500 years, they say this way, he's still alive. But they want to be rich. No way. Because they say, give us what? Eh, children, don't give us money. And they were establishing their family. And they were still working till today. And that's why you are here. For God to do what? To remove that way. I don't know what they say to you. But Jesus where is stronger than all. See, we are I want to tell you, let's go to that the same first somewhere. I want to uh, uh, tell you something. First somewhere twenty twenty eight. Okay. You will, see, you will see how they work. The reason why I'm telling you this, I want to, I want to tell you that the way, if you speak something today and you are dead, and that way you speak, that way you spoke is from the spirit world. You are dead. Ah, the way will still be alive. You are dead. You. That is why some of you, the one, the one that tie your family, is dead and gone. But what he say is still happening. Eh? Eh? Whenever they say they want to set you free, the man will come out. <laughs> you see where, where they wake somewhere up. Somewhere is dead and gone. And they wake him up. Eh? Because they want to hear his word. Uh, let's go to First Samuel 28. Okay, let's start from 20. You know it's far, but let's start from uh, 9. Okay. Before you read that 9. <laughs> Let's start from uh, six, so they will now understand me. Eh? Hmm? Start from six to to nineteen. Uh, so after today, after today, God will now help us to remove that way that they spoke in your life. Eh? That way that say you will not succeed. That way that say you will be buried. That way that say you will be sick. That way that say you will die early. Eh? Eh? You would will, will do what? We will remove it. Uh -huh. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did not answer him, either by dreams or by Urim, or by the prophets. You see, God refused to hear Saul because he disobeyed God. Eh? If you read about Saul, you know, see, God refused to hear him because he did the war. He disobeyed God. He killed the prophet. He killed the priest. He killed the people. Everybody he killed. He destroyed. He disobeyed God. The spirit of God left him. The spirit of leadership, but he's still ruling them. I don't know whether, eh? Uh huh. He's still the king. Eh? Uh huh. Then Saul said to his servants, Find me a woman who is a medium, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, In fact, there is a woman who is a medium, in, medium at Endor. So Saul dis disguised himself and put on other clothes. And he went, and two men with him. 
and they came to the woman by night. And he said, please conduct a saint for me and bring up for me the one I shall name to you. Then the woman said to him, look, you know what Saul has done, how he has cut off the mediums and the spirits from the land. Why then do you lay a snare for my life to cause me to die? And Saul swore to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord lives, no punishment shall come upon you for this thing. Then, a woman said, then the woman said, Whom shall I bring up for you? And he said, Bring up Samuel for me. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out with a loud voice. And the woman spoke to Saul, saying, Why have you deceived me? For you are Saul. And the king said to her, Do not be afraid. What did you see? And the woman said to Saul, I saw a spirit ascending out of the earth. So he said to her, what is, what is his form? And she said, An old man is coming up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped with, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed down. Now Samuel said to Saul, why have you disturbed me from bring, by bringing me up? And Samuel answered, I am deeply distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God has departed from me and does not answer me anymore, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore, I have called you that you may reveal to me what I should do. Then Samuel said, So why do you ask me, seeing the Lord has departed from you and has become your enemy? And the Lord has done for himself as he spoke by me. For the Did Lord. You that? Eh? As he spoke by me. Eh? That means he's repeating those things to him. Uh huh. For the Lord has turned the kingdom out of your hand and given it to your neighbor David, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord, nor execute his fierce wrath upon Amalek. Therefore, the Lord has done this thing to you this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with you into the hand of the Philistine. And tomorrow, and your sons will be with me. The Lord will also deliver the army of Israel into the hand of the, of the Philistines. You see that. Even if you are there, eh? what wake the man, what you saw, they say the man, uh, they wake the man up. That the man's way. If what you say is from the spirit world, the thing will stand. Each time they say in the name of Jesus Christ, you got up. The way got up and carry your form. I don't know whether I understand me. You know, they say, and they come to your family now, they want to do prayer. They say in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Before you know you, will not see something. Like one of our member was telling me two days ago that the prophecy I gave like 2006, 2006, I followed them to their house in the village. I went there, I said, ah, I saw a woman, an old woman is walking inside this compound. Me, I was busy looking, where, where is the old man coming from? And I searched, searched, but I see the woman walking. But I was walking, walking up and down. Looking for the woman, and later it's him that remind me. He may remind me of it. And I say, I see old woman walking inside this compound. But God said to me that He will not show me where the old woman is from. I should go later. He will tell me. Then we left. This year now, or maybe last year or last two years. People now see the old woman inside the compound. Everybody now see, and people are dying up and down in that family. Pam, 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 pam. Everybody is dying. They now say, anywhere they say, they say, it's a witch, old woman. And they are accusing one old woman there. I said that you are the one. Well, well, as is no. And they now went and begin to ask and ask elderly people. They now say that uh, their grandmother of that family, maybe grandmother. The woman was a grandmother to them, and they accused the woman of being a witch that he did this to them. And the woman packed and go. It's like you accuse your mother 
that your mother is the one dealing with you and your children. And your mother now went to their house. Now go back to the father's house and now hang herself there and die. Do you see it? Huh? Uh, now hang herself there and die. Is the one walking inside the compound. So now, maybe before he hang herself in action, nobody will be old there. You will die young, since you people hate old people. And people are dying. And the one that is oldest there is 40 something years. Everybody die. And the reason why that one have not died is because he's coming here. He's still coming here. The prophecy I gave 2001 cease. And I was looking for them. I said, ah, I cannot see the woman alone. But don't worry, God say I should go. That later he will, he will see tell me. And now they have discovered where the old woman is coming from. So each time the family, maybe the family, you started praying in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the words of that person will do what? Wake up. And once the word wake up, you will see the form. I don't know whether you. That is what is fighting you. Like the man I was talking to yesterday, I said, they were, I don't know where, I, maybe it's from your mother, but I'm sure what I'm saying, that there's a way in your stomach. And this way is what is fighting you. In a later call, the elder sister said, ah, my mother, father, he used to be native doctor. His father too, native doctor. Ah, they gave uh, our mother so many chance. And before they give birth to you, they are looking for boy. And you are the first son. Uh, so the way of that, maybe their papa, wherever they got the, the charm from, is in him. But these people, they are late now. They are no more. But each time you want to say you want to pray for them now, you will see them. And, and you're telling the person, I see one man here. I see one man here. He will tell you the man look like one. Say one man. Maybe he's tall. Maybe he's short. If the person now begin to ask question, they will not tell is your is your grandpapa, is your great grandpapa. But they are where leaves because it's a spirit where. So without Jesus where. You can't counter those things, you, you cannot stop it. It will continue existing. So today, Jesus has give us, have given us where? What? Are you sleeping? Some people are sleeping, no? Oh yeah, let's go to John. You see where Jesus has let's go to John. John 6. Ask your neighbor, are you sleeping or are you awake? Uh, John 6, verse. Uh, let's read only, let's read only verse 63. Hmm? John 6, verse 1. 63. Uh huh. It is the spirit who gives life. You see that? It is spirit who gives life. Uh -huh. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirits. The way I speak to you, they are all spirit. Uh -huh. And they are life. And they are alive. The way Jesus speaks to us is what? It's spirit. That means the way we stand. You know, Jesus spoke many years ago, 2,000 years ago. Eh? But the way his way is still existing till now. And the way will continue till the end of the world. The way will still continue. Because the, that way is what? A lie. A spirit way. But you are own way without Jesus joining you. 
If you read this Bible, Jesus say, Abide in me. Eh? He, he said what? Abide. If I can see the place, I'll show you. Say, Abide. Okay, let's go to uh, John 5 38. Uh -huh. But you do not have his word abiding in you, because whom he sent, him you do not believe. You see, you, because the, the reason why you are where will do what? Will not do what? Eh? Will not work is because the word of Jesus is not abide with you. That is why if you read it, you will see, see where he said, abide in me. Your way is useless because of what? Eh? You see where the Bible says, flesh, profit, nothing. So, if you don't have, if you don't abide in God, your way will not stand. The people that serve Satan, the reason why they say you will not prosper, and the thing remains, they abide with who? Lucifer. <laughs> Do you have uncle that say you will not prosper? You see people that don't prosper. Have you seen that before? Eh? Uh, you see some uh, people that, that serve uh, their master and the man say, ah, if you steal my money, you will not prosper. Have you seen that before? And people, they don't do what? Uh, the reason why the thing work is the man have a way that abide with spirit war, whether from God, I don't know, whether from Satan, I don't know, but he has spirit war. That is why he could walk. But if you don't have spirit war, somebody will root you down, destroy your business, and still move forward. I don't know whether, eh? I'll still move forward. So the problem you have now is the way following you. I don't know where the way is from. Whether from your mother's side, I don't know. Whether it's from your father's side, I don't know. But I know that that way that is following you that says you will not succeed, it's not from God. It's not from Jesus. It's from Satan. That way that says that you will not succeed, it's not from Jesus. It's from who? Uh, that is why we are here. To do what? To remove the way. So that is why you should be careful. You need to be careful. You need to walk with God. And God told me that if my way will stand, you will continue doing my will. Mm. Whatever you see, mm, whatever you say, mm, You know you are well star eh? as a child. But now nah, I see uh, it's like I'm seeing you are well dropping. <laughs> you say that this person you, you God will bless you. And then uh, the board now begin to bless the person after some time it, 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 it's no more working. Sometimes it's because of your character. When you are when you abide with God and do his will, you are well become strong, very strong. But when you now begin to do what you like and not what God like, you are well begin to fade. Uh, very, very weak, cannot do anything again. Sometimes you will not speak a word, they not give you a word of God that you will succeed. You don't begin to behave anyhow. Am I right? Huh? They say you should stay here. You don't go out and be going anywhere you like and come back anytime you like. The way might not stand. I don't know whether, eh? They tell you that, ah, in so so and so time, God is going to bless you. You need to be 
uh, prayerful and you don't pray, uh, how can the way come to pass? So that is the only thing that can fight those who are not to stand. A man that I spoke to said, hey, you are in the prison, you will come out next year. And I said, is this year? This I said, not this year. Your prophet said this year. All your prophets, they say this year. But I say, God said next year. But see what you will be doing, you know, you will be praying. If you want this word to come to pass, you praying, you gather your family, tell your family they should be praying for you. Eh? He hated me, but he took my word. Am I right? Am I right? He hated me because of war. I did not say this year. But he still carry my word and gave it to their family. And they are praying. And my way came to pass. And the, the word of his prophets and pastor failed. Because they are not from God. They are from man. He controls them. He tells them what to do. I want you to go to my family and do family liberation. They will say, your money is 200, 300, 400. He gave them money. They go. So the way will fail. But he said, oh, how much would I give you? I say, you, your money is a cost money because you are in prison. You say, cost money. You are in prison. I'm outside. How can you don't give me outside? It's me that's supposed to give you and not you giving me because you are in prison. It is not work. Things don't work like that. And I see that as, a, as an insult. This is an insult. <laughs> <laughs> say, how can you say my money is cost? So that is God for you. God's way is a lie. Eh? It's a lie. But you can help the way war. Even if you don't like me, <laughs> make use of those way. It will work for you. Tell your neighbor, even if you don't like the man of God. <laughs> Even if you don't like the person, eh? Make use of the person's word. The person says, ah, make sure you pray Santa Tefai every day. God yeah. said this thing will happen. And you don't like the person. The person not told, do like this, but read that Santa Tefai. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be reading that Santa Tefai and not fear. That way, we'll still do what? Come to power because it's God's way, it's not human beings' way, it's a spirit way that comes from the spirit, it must surely come to pass. But when you refuse to do it, eh, the, the thing will not work for you. They say, Pray, sit down here and pray. You now begin to go up and down. The way will not happen. Mm. The way will not come to pass. But I say, sit down here and pray. You not sit down, you begin to pray. Ah. You sit down here, you begin to pray. Ah, God will hear you. Because God's way. This is spirit way. So today God say, we will remove that way you carry from your father's house. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but you will help me to do what? <laughs> By doing what? You obey what I say. Look at the issue of neighbor. They say, go and bath. And I say, ah, is it this water? Is it better than our own water? And the servant say, ah, if prophet say you should do something, do something. And I went there arrogantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He got himself. Because that way is not just a mere way, but from heaven. What is fighting you now is spirit way, way from Satan. Your foundation, your whatever. Maybe somebody very charming in your family and say nobody progress. Each time you now say, in the name of Jesus, I will progress. The man will come out and say, progress where? You cannot progress. And because your own is from you. <laughs> I don't know whether, eh? Because your own is from where? 
from you, he will do nothing. But the man all is from who? So direct from Lucifer. He was the way was stand. That is what is happening to you all. You say they, they cannot deliver me. No, they can deliver you, but you need to ask God to do what? To speak to your life. If God speaks to your life today, uh, tell your neighbor, if God speaks to your life today, <laughs> what do you think will happen? Uh, eh? Eh? The reason why you are like this, God has not spoken. If God now speaks, hmm. you know, in this work that I do, there is the one gift speak. And if gift now speak, and what is happening to you is from the spirit where he cannot match with that, he cannot do anything, he will knock him back. But if the way is from heaven, that's Jesus now speak. Ah, he will defeat that way. The only thing that will make that Jesus way to fail, when you fail to do what Jesus said you should do. I don't know whether, eh? They say fast and you are eating. He will not come to pass. They say, don't go to your wife. And you now go to your wife. It, it will not work. Look at the one that you do here every day. You see the reason why I'm shouting at you every day. They say you should do this way. You are going that way. They say you should do that way. You are going that way. They say you should believe God. You say, I cannot believe God. Then you do this. You cannot believe God. And whatever way that come, the word of Satan that comes from the spirit, and the way is so strong, the word of God is so strong, both of them, they will begin to fight. And the, after maybe days or months or year, who do you think will win? Eh? You will not see. When God's word defeat, you will see the result. So stand up. So the way God spoke to my life, Eh? I know what is happening to me. He now spoke. And I say, he? And God spoke. And the thing is, is coming down now. But because I defeated the thing yesterday, ah, the thing was supposed to was have stopped. Pam, pam. Eh? Ah? Is it that it's not that thing God say? That is the question. That is how this where this preaching come to uh, to you. I say, ah, is it that it's not that thing God now show me that is what is happening to me? Oh, what is happening to me now? Eh? And now God now show me where I want to go to the toilet two times, but I could not go to that toilet in the realm of the spirit. And when I now wake up, God said, as soon as you could pass out that thing, it will stop completely. That where that thing I say is truth. But I'm still fighting with that evil way. <laughs> I don't know. You understand me? Uh, let me tell you. You are, you are having pain. Maybe you are having waist pain now. I'm going to say the waist pain you are having. Somebody say something uh, about you. Uh, and the person that say is very strong somewhere and God now revealed to you that the pain is from this person is from this woman ah it is done now I don't know whether eh? it is done the problem is over but when you are saying you uh, God answer me I want to know where the pain is coming from and God did not show you the real thing that shows that they have not answered you but when he answer you to the send he now show you that is this woman and now show you the thing where the thing is and tell you that this thing will stop after telling you this thing will stop ah both of them will start fighting 
and you're supposed to vomit before the thing will go. Ah, if you did not vomit in one more time, you will still be having that pain. I don't know what eh? You will still be having that. Tea, that vomit now come. It now come out. It now cough it out. You will now check yourself. You will not see those things again. So there must, there must be a war, fight between the word of Satan and word of God. They will fight. And whoever wins, and I don't believe that Satan will win God. Eh? God will win. It will take time. Am I right? He not win. So today, I want to tell you that you will win today if you believe. Uh, so, uh, uh, this year, it means like you are doubting. <laughs> 